Hello friends, this video on exponents and powers part 6 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Category. Now let's look at the next category which is power to the power. So when you have a number a to the power m which, which in itself has a power and you put another power to this number that is a to the power m to the power n. So in that case the two, these two powers they get multiplied. So this is equal to a to the power mn. Let's take an example. Let's say 2 to the power 3, this whole to the power 2. So what is the meaning? This means that this entire number is multiplied for 2 times, right? So what is this entire number? 2 into 2 into 2. And this is multiplied for 2 times again. So 2 to the 4, 4 to the 8. So this means 8 to the power 2. And 8 to the power 2 means 8 multiplied for 2 times. So 8 into 8 is 64. So how can you write 64 in exponential form? Again, you need to find out the prime factorization. So let us do the prime factorization here. So 2, 3 is a 6, 2, 2 is a 4, 2, 16 is a 32, 2, 8 is a 16, 2, 4 is a 8, 2, 2 is a 4. So therefore 64 can be written as 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2. So it gets repeated for 6 times. So this can be written as 2 to the power 6. So this 6 can be written as 3 into 2. So when you look at it, you see that this power and this power, that is 3 and 2, they get multiplied in the product. So therefore this holds true. a to the power m to the power n is equal to a to the power mn. Now let us look at another example. So let's take an example number 2. So let's say you have something like this, minus 3 to the power 2 this whole to the power 3. So in this case what would happen? So minus 3 square means minus 3 into minus 3 and this whole to the power 3. So 3 3 is a 9 and 2 minus sign this makes it positive. So this is 9 to the power 3. That means 9 into 9 into 9 which is equal to 729. So in this case also you do prime factorization of 729 so you find that it is exactly divisible by 3 so 729 can be written as 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 that is 3 multiplied for 6 times so this can be written as 3 to the power 6 so this 6 can be written as 2 into 3. So that's how this also proves that a to the power m to the power n is equal to a to the power mn. So let us now move on to the third category where we have powers with same exponent but different basis. So here also we will look for both the multiplication and division scenario. So as per the law it says that a to the power m multiplied by b to the power m. So you see a and b are two different bases but both of them have the same exponent that is m. So when you multiply two different bases with same exponent so in this case what will happen? Now since the exponent is same so obviously the product will also have the same exponent. So no new exponent will come out of the way. So the product would also have the same exponent that is m. But what about the base? Now since here we are trying to multiply these two numbers therefore the base will be the multiplication of the bases of the two numbers. So that's a simple way to remember this. Now how do we prove that yes this holds true so for that we take example. Let's say 2 to the power 3 multiplied by 4 to the power 3. So you have different bases 2 and 4 but you have same exponent that is 3. So 2 to the power 3 is 2 into 2 into 2 and 4 to the power 3 is 4 into 4 into 4. So 2 into 2 into 2 is 8 and 4 into 4 into 4 is 64. 4 4 is 16. 16 into 4 is 64. So 8 into 64 is equal to 512. Now how do we write 512 in exponential form? Because here right hand side we have exponential form. So for that we find out factorization of 512. So we see that 512 is exactly divisible by 2. So 2 into 256 then 2 into 128 then 2 6 is a 12, 2 4 is a 8, 2 3 is a 6, 2 2 is a 4, 2 16 is a 32, 2 8 is a 16, 2 4 is a 8, 2 2 is a 4. Therefore 512 is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 2 
multiply it by 9 times. Right? So this is equal to 2 to the power 9. So this 2 to the power 9 can also be written like this. Now 2 into 2 into 2. What is 2 into 2 into 2? This is 8. So 8 multiplied by 8 again multiplied by 8 because 2 to the 4, 4 to the 8. So basically 8, 512 is also equal to 8 to the power 3. So when you look at this, what do you see? You see that if you look at the product, you see that here the exponent is the same as that of these two numbers. So both the numbers had 3 as exponent, so the product also has 3 as exponent. But when you look at the base, you see that the base is nothing but product of the two numbers. So this can be written as 2 into 4 to the power 3. And that is what exactly this law tells us. So in a similar way, let us look at the division part as well. So we will take the same example that is 2 to the power 3 divided by 4 to the power 3. So this becomes equal to 2 into 2 into 2 divided by 4 into 4 into 4. So 2 to the 4, 4 to the 8 and in the denominator it would be 4, 4 to the 16, 16, 4 to the 64. So 8 by 64. So now here you see 8, 8 is a 64, therefore this becomes equal to 1 by 8. So how can we write 1? So 1 can be written as 1 to the power 3 and 8 can be written as 2 to the power 3 again in a similar way by prime factorization. So from this we see that 1 by 2 to the power 3. Now 1 by 2 can be very well written as 2 by 4 to the power 3. That's because 2 by 4 is nothing but 1 by 2, 2 to the 4, right? So, the, so here when you look at the product, what do you see? Here also the exponent is 3, which is the same as the exponents of the two numbers. And when you look at the base, so the bases are just plain division of the bases of these two numbers, that is 2 and 4. So this proves that all the laws of exponents are correct and they hold true for all integers. So let us try to solve a few more examples using the laws of exponents. So let us look at the first example. 6 to the power 15 divided by 6 to the power 10. So here what do you see? You have the same base but different exponents. So what do we do when we have same base and different exponent? Now the base is the same. So definitely the product would also have the same base that is 6. Now what do we do with the exponent? What should be the exponent of the result? 15 or 10? So in this case it is division between the two. So what we do? We just subtract the exponents. So this becomes 15 minus 10 is 5. So 6 to the power 5. So that is 6 multiplied 5 times. And this value comes out to be 7776. So this becomes the answer. Let us look at one more example. Okay, so I have written here, so let, let me do it here. 3 to the power 7 divided by 3 to the power 4 into 3 to the power 3. So how do we solve this? So in this case, again, you see you have the same base. So everywhere you have a base 3, but you have different exponents. Perfect. Now let us first handle this multiplication part. You remember the Bodmer's rule where you first handle The brackets, then division, then multiplication, then addition and then subtraction. Now in this case, when you see the denominator, it is like a bracket. So you need to first sort out the denominator part. So what about the denominator? You have two same bases. So obviously the product would be also the same base that is 3. What about the uh, uh, powers, the powers will get added because here it is multiplication. So the power would get added. So this is 3 to the power 7 divided by 3 to the power 7. So now again you have two numbers with the same base. So that means the product will again have the same base 3. But what do you do with the powers? The powers will get subtracted because in this case it is division. So 7 minus 7. So 7 minus 7 is 0. So this is 3 to the power 0. Anything to the power 0, any integer to the power 0 is equal to 1. So therefore the result would be 1. 
Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.